Trigonometry is a fairly predictable part of the ACT. There will always be four trig questions on that test. To answer these correctly, you need to know the trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. The three main trig functions describe the relationship between sides and angles in a right triangle. They are used to determine information about other parts of the triangle. With the trig functions, you can determine everything you need to know about a triangle, even if you're only given one side and one angle. The first function is sine. The sine of an angle equals the side opposite the angle divided by the hypotenuse of the triangle. It's abbreviated as SIN, sin. In the figure shown, the sine of the angle theta is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. The second function is cosine. The cosine of an angle equals the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. It's abbreviated as COS, cos. In this figure, the cosine of angle theta is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. The third trig function is tangent. The tangent of an angle equals the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. It's abbreviated as TAN, tan. The tangent of angle theta is opposite over adjacent. You can use the mnemonic SOKOTOA to remember this series of relationships. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, or SO. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, or CA. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, or TOA. All put together, it reads SOKOTOA. Let's apply this knowledge to a test-like question. If angle theta is between 0 and 90 degrees, and the cosine of theta is 5 root 2 over 8, then the tangent of theta is... When given a question with a trig function, in this case cosine, a good first step is to draw a right triangle. Remember, you should draw a picture if you aren't given one. You know that angle theta is one of the smaller two angles in the triangle because you're told that it's between 0 and 90 degrees. Now use the given cosine of the angle to add information to the figure. You're told that the cosine of the angle in question is 5 root 2 over 8. Thanks to SOKOTOA, you know that the cosine relationship is adjacent over hypotenuse. If the cosine of the given angle is 5 root 2 over 8, then think of the adjacent side being 5 root 2 and the hypotenuse being 8. Be careful when doing this. Because the trig functions give the relationship between the sides, you don't know for sure that the sides are actually 5 root 2 and 8, only that that's what the fraction reduces to. They could have been multiples of these numbers. On the bright side, this question is looking for a trig function for the answer, which means you're looking for the relationship between the sides. You can assume that you'll be able to make a triangle and use the functions this way most of the time. In any event, you need to find the tangent of the given angle. Using SOKOTOA, the tangent of an angle is opposite over adjacent. You already know the adjacent side is 5 root 2 but you need to find the length of the opposite side. Thanks to the fact that trig functions all deal with right triangles, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the opposite side. In this case, 5 root 2 squared plus the opposite side squared equals 8 squared. First, simplify 8 squared to 64 and expand 5 root 2 squared. 5 squared is 25, and root 2 squared is 2. Multiply them together to get 50. Subtract 50 from both sides, which leaves the opposite side squared equal to 14. Finally, take the root of both sides to reveal that the opposite side is the square root of 14. Whew, you're almost there. Now, reduce the fraction for the tangent of theta you can rewrite root 14 as root 7 times root 2. The root 2 in the numerator and denominator cancel out, leaving root 7 over 5. So, answer choice B is correct.
As usual, this harder question is only difficult because of the many steps involved. Once you have the process down, questions like this will be easy. To review, the trig functions describe the relationship between an angle in a right triangle and its three sides. Use SOHCAHTOA to keep them straight. Sine equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Cosine equals the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Tangent equals the opposite side over the adjacent side. Voila! You may see some complicated trig questions on the ACT, but you'll be able to answer them using SOHCAHTOA. Now apply these trig functions to some guided practice questions.